This little boy is trying to set fire to ants. He's shabbily dressed and poorly groomed. He's peering intently at the panicking ants on the sidewalk. What's your name, little boy? None of your beeswax. You're quite the impertinent little boy, aren't you? Yeah, well, my folks told me not to talk to strangers. His name's Paul Untermeyer. Yeah, but we call him Stinky because his initials are P.U. So what's your name, little boy? Bip. My, what a nice name. So, do you have any interest in hobbies? Killing ants, hitting baseballs through windows, and passing all my wisdom to those younger than me. What's it to you? Just asking. Yeah? Well, don't ask again. It's a nice day, isn't it? I don't know. Well, there's not a cloud in the sky and the sun is shining. I guess. Makes the ants light quicker, that's for sure. This nifty baseball wouldn't be of any use to you, would it? I don't know. Let's see it. Hmm, not bad. I'm not sure about this Bob Ruth signature, but it's not a bad imitation. Stitching integrity is about 89%. Want to trade? That's just what I was thinking. I could use that magnifying glass you boys are using. Hey, Scram, we're using this glass. Have we got a deal? Okay, why not? Here you go. Hey, what a jip! Now how are we gonna moitalize these ants? Ease up, Stinky. We're almost out of ants anyway. Then we'll go to Old Man Meadow's place and bust up his windows. Yeah! Thanks, lady. Pleasure doing business, witches. Thank you, young man. You pick it up and place it in your purse. You see a gaudily painted front door to Low Fat's laundry. You see an older oriental gentleman standing behind the counter toiling away with an industrial iron. me? Yes, please. I was just wondering, uh, do you work here? Yes, ticket please. Pardon? Ticket please, you here to pick up, yes? Oh, no, I I'm sorry, I was just looking around. Okay, look all you want. Looking is free, laundry not solved. Low-fats Chinese laundry? Look around! You standing in it! Ever been to the Lion Decker Museum? Of course! Low-fat big contributor to museum. Two dollar every year. Some customer also work at museum. Wolf Heimlich, security guard. Very important. Anybody else from the museum ever come here? Yes, yes, let me think. Woman doctor, Greek name. Um, Olympia something. Megillicati Mc... Miklos? Yes, that's it. Olympia Miklos. Not know what she do at museum, but she work there. She and Mr. Heimlich sometime come in together. 
Have you been there recently? Not been there in, oh, must be almost a year. Whoa, time to send in another two dollar. Besides Mr. Hamlick and Dr. Miklos, are any of your other customers museum employees? Not think so. Oh, wait, how could I forget? Yvette Delacroix, very lovely lady. She work at museum. Yes, Pippin Longstocking. My little girl read a book about her. Very funny. Frackles, red hair. I don't think that's the same name. No? I thought it was Longstocking. Maybe not. Archibald Carrington the third rang a bell with you. Not think so. Very fancy name. Not many fancy people come here. Do you know Detective O'Reilly? Ah, Detective O'Reilly. Very smart man. Funny. No matter how clean I get his clothes, he always looked dirty. Does a man named Crod Faller T. Rhubarb come in here? Yes. Remember man with name like that. Extra starch. French cuffs. That all I know. Not know any John Bow, sorry. Maybe try again with somebody else. Low fat know many people. Has Ziggy been in lately? Ziggy? No Ziggy come in here. Would remember name like that. Sound like good name for comic strip though. It is better to know. So you do the laundry for Dr. Olympia Miklos? Yes, spooky lady. All black clothes. She nice, but scary. A small smile flickers over Low Fat's normally inscrutable features. Why, uh, why are you smiling? Low Fat have arrangement with a vet. Laundry for free. And what do you get in return? Once more, Low Fat seems to smile slightly, his eyes refusing to meet yours. Is it something private? Love that not one to kiss and tell. Enough said, okay? I won't tell anyone. I'm sure whatever it is, I've heard it before. He whistles an unrecognizable tune and deliberately looks away. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. Wolfie funny. Funny man. Take himself very seriously. Stand up straight. Act like soldier. What else can you tell me about him? Occasional bloodstain. Never sweat. 
very tidy. Only see him once in a while. Have you heard about the burglary at the Lion Decker Museum? No! Burglary at museum? That terrible! Sorry to hear that! Yes, isn't it? Have any of your customers said anything about it? No, not hear about it until you say. What's stolen? Much damage? Well, a dagger was taken, but nothing else that I know of. Strange! Many valuable item at museum. Funny that only Dago was taken. Go figure! Pardon me. Yes, please? I feel a little strange to ask, but I'm looking for something I can wear to a formal party. You wouldn't happen to have something like that, uh, lying about unclaimed, maybe? This is not clothing store lady. No sell unclaimed clothes. Somebody come for clothes, get very angry. But surely there must be clothes that go unclaimed. Two years, then unclaimed laundry go to Salvation Army. What if I ask you very nicely? You join Salvation Army, then I give you unclaimed laundry. <laughs> There are no cars coming from this direction. There are no cars coming from this direction. <laughs>